He's been called the father of modern vaccines. Dr. Maurice Hilleman, the late virologist who spent decades working for Merck Pharmaceuticals. 1963, his six-year-old daughter woke up with a sore throat. It led to one of the biggest breakthroughs in modern medicine. Took throat swabs, took them back to the lab and froze them. So now I had specimens out of Geraldine, my daughter. By 1967, Merck had a license for a mumps vaccine, less than five years for work that normally takes decades. But that record is now being shattered. It's an unprecedented scientific development in a whirlwind year of crisis. China says the number of people infected by a mysterious respiratory virus has more than tripled over the weekend. We first heard about coronavirus in early 2020. By March 11, the World Health Organization officially declared the outbreak a pandemic. In just nine months, there's been more than 65 million cases worldwide, 1.5 million dead. And with upwards of 200,000 new cases daily in the United States alone, the virus is showing no signs of slowing down. But luckily, scientists around the globe have been speeding up their efforts to stop it. There are now dozens of vaccine contenders, and two are making major headlines for the results they've already shown in clinical trials, both with around 95% efficacy. First, there's a Fortune 500 giant, Pfizer, that for more than 170 years has been turning out everything from Advil to Zithromax. And then there's Moderna, a 10-year-old biotech company that doesn't have a single approved product on the market. The startup caused quite a stir when they announced that their COVID vaccine was developed in just two days. Two days! The money came pouring in, including more than two billion of government funding from Operation Warp Speed. Even Dolly Parton got in on the act. She gave a $1 million donation. As the limelight has grown, so too the questions. We should mention Moderna is not without its critics. Some scientists had previously said that the fast track nature of all this essentially amounted to science by press release. Not only has a successful vaccine never been made this fast, it's actually never been made this way. Both the Moderna and Pfizer vaccines use a revolutionary technology called messenger RNA, or mRNA, that doesn't require the actual virus to create immunity in the human body. Essentially, the patient makes their own vaccine. We've come a long way in the 50 years since Gerald Lynn's throat swab, but Dr. Hilleman's invention has prevented mumps in millions of kids for decades and is still in use today.